Hi, my name is Nate Maingard. I am a modern troubadour, a sharer of stories and songs, and I've been live streaming to generate income for years. And I'm super grateful that I get to be supported by such an epic community of people around the world. And so I thought I would create this little video for you today on just some really basic ways to get started as an acoustic musician making money by live streaming. I know that that's something a lot of people are getting into right now. And I know for myself, one of the biggest hurdles about it is, oh my gosh, I need so much gear. I need so many good microphones. I need, how do I set up a tip jar? How do I do this? How do I do that? So it's going to be okay. You can do this really simply and I am here to help you with that. So let's get started. The first thing that I personally recommend is just a simple phone. So either an Android phone or an iPhone, some kind of smartphone. They have good cameras built into them. You don't need much more than that. And then choose your live streaming platform. Now, as you, I'm sure you know, there are several popular ones, uh, Facebook Live being probably the most well-known for quickly going live from your phone. There's also Instagram Live has become massively popular as well as Periscope, which is owned by Twitter. My personal, the one that I personally use the most is Periscope because that's where most of my audience is, is on Twitter. And so for myself, if, if I was just starting out, I would just go wherever I feel comfortable and wherever I have the most audience and wherever it feels like I can just be the most natural. So don't get worried about it. Just start somewhere. If, if you use Instagram, I'd probably start with Instagram um, or Facebook Live. Either one of those are really good and obviously Periscope is my jam. The second thing you need to think about is setting up your virtual tip jar. Now the virtual tip jar is really as something that's going to make it as easy as possible for the people who enjoy your live streams to offer you monetary thanks. It's you're basically busking online. So you know if you're out in the street busking as a musician you'd have your guitar case out or hat out or something like that and people would be throwing money in as they go past. It's very much like that. So the way I think about it is like how can I do this in the simplest way possible that enables the most people possible to engage with it if they choose to. And it's it's always an optional thing. Live streaming is is generally a free thing unless you set up a whole other complicated online concert etc which is fine if you want to do it but I'm giving you just the simple basic how to get started making some money live streaming as an acoustic musician. And so there's a bunch of different options that I'll link to in the description. Um, but the, the popular ones is buy me a coffee. And I know there's one called Ko-Fi, which I haven't used. There's also PayPal.me, which a lot of people use because it's very easy to set up. The only thing I don't like about it is that when you use a PayPal.me link, people have to pay you or tip for, to you using their own PayPal account. They can't use a credit card or something like that. So it kind of limits anyone who's not on PayPal giving you tips, which to me is an immediate no-go. And then there's one called Give. Uh, WP, which is a, a plugin for WordPress that you can install on your WordPress website. The one I am going to focus on here is Give WP because that's the one I've been using now for quite a long time. Uh, I just have to say that I've got their premium package that they've given me and I'm very grateful for that. And I would use them anyway. I was already paying for some of their extra add-ons, but you really can get started with the free one. I started on that. It's perfect. It, it links into, I think you can add PayPal, but the PayPal that allows people to use credit cards, etc. So that's that's what I would recommend doing if you do have a WordPress site is use GiveWP and I'm going to show you what that looks like on my screen. So this is my virtual tip jar that I have built using the GiveWP plugin on my WordPress page. And as you can see, it's super beautifully laid out. Uh, I love it. It actually looks really awesome on mobile as well, which is amazing. So I've got set up over here, these various levels that people can tip at. And I, these are all customized. I made them myself, illuminate, pollinate, reincarnate. And then people can pay using PayPal or credit card, which is set up with Stripe or Google Pay, or it'll, it would show Apple Pay if, they were, if I was on Safari or on an iPhone or something like that. So it really gives people the flexibility to like really quickly make a tip without it feeling over complicated and I realize I, I need to change these images here because that's I don't have that beard anymore obviously then people can also make an, an anonymous donation or they can leave a comment and a lot of people do and it's one of my favorite things about this um, is that then, you know, I've got like over here, you can actually see these people have left. These are comments from the last few weeks or so. And uh, yeah, just really appreciate that people get to have that that epic interaction and I get to hear from them. And it's it just feels like an extra little bonus that for me really works. So this requires a little bit of setup. It requires, to, uh, you know, installing the plugin on your WordPress site, or if you don't have a WordPress site, then you'd need to at least set up a simple one to do this. Um, you really can use the free plugin. I don't think you need 
need to pay until you are looking for some more advanced settings. Like in my case, I'm I'm using all the a lot of more advanced stuff with like multiple payment gateways, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, you really would be fine with just PayPal, and then the the normal PayPal accepts both PayPal and credit card. So you that would work for you in that case. Um, then, like I said before, the other options would be something like buy me a coffee. I have a page. I haven't used it in a really long time, but you can see it's it. You kind of just fill out all your details, and it automatically sets up a little tip jar for you. I personally, I, I don't know, it's cool, but I like the customization of, of Give and I like the company as a whole. And I just found that in the end, I, I wanted something that really gave me control over my connection with my people. That like is a priority for me is really, really feeling like I know who my people are. Now, paypal.me, again, really simple. You could literally just set up your paypal.me page and then people can type in an amount. The issue here is they do need a PayPal account, which for me, then a lot of people don't. And a lot of people are in countries where PayPal is a hassle, et cetera, et cetera. I just decided not to go for it. So again, my primary one is Give. That's what I use and I love it. And I get on the back end, I can't show you this because I'm not good at blurring things out or anything so uh, but on the back end I've got people's emails and their names and how much they've uh, tipped over time and the average tips and like all kinds of really cool stats which I know for most people might be a little over complicated but I love it I think it's fantastic and um yeah, like I said, you could even try starting with PayPal.me. And once you reach a point where you're like, I actually want a little more control, I want to have a, a more personal connection with my people and be able to set up a nice personal page like this, then uh, then I would recommend. You can see it's on my own website, nate.live forward slash tip. Also, really good little uh, bonus tip here is just to, <laughs> bonus tip, excuse the pun, uh, is to set up a short link with using some kind of a, a short link website. My website is very easy to remember anyway, so I'm lucky in that way. But yeah, that is how I would recommend getting yourself up with a virtual tip jar and good luck on it. You're gonna do great. Okay, so now that we've kind of set up our, we've chosen a platform, we've decided how that's gonna look and we're going to go live. We've got a tip jar set up. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my phone and and share a little screen recording with you of what that looks like. So as I said before, I use Periscope and that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Teaching, live streaming. And then with, with Periscope anyway, you double tap your screen to point it at yourself. And so here I am, hello, this is me. And then I'm actually gonna go live right now. There is this thing called Super Hearts on Periscope. I'm turning that off because I use my own tip jar and I'm gonna go live. And this is me testing out and, and showing you. And you can see people are joining live. There's Taylor, who's one of my regular viewers. Hi, Taylor. I'm creating a YouTube video to help people to get started with making money live streaming acoustic music. So what I might do if this was a live stream is like, then I just rest my phone somewhere, wherever I want. Hey everyone, we're going live. Pick up an instrument and, and start playing. And that's it. And then you go live as long as you like, as short as you like. And then what I'll do during my live streams is that I have linked my tip jar, which we set up earlier. I have linked that in my profile here on Periscope and on Twitter and on wherever else on Facebook, you can add it in as a link in the comments, etc. So I'll say to people, hey, if you're loving what I'm doing and you wanna help out, then please do go visit my virtual tip jar, which is at nate.live forward slash tip. And you can find it linked in my profile as well. So that gives people the, the, the knowledge and the awareness that they can use the tip jar anytime they like. And, and away you go. So thanks guys, everyone on Periscope for joining me for this little setup while I'm teaching people how to go live simply. <laughs> the video will be out soon. And that is how you go live on whatever platform you choose. Now, a few little bonus tips for you at the end here. I mean, it really is that simple. Like I'm keeping it as simple as possible. You need a smartphone, you need a tip jar, and you go live on your platform. Now, the next important piece, which isn't about gear or tech or anything like that is to do it consistently, to do it consistently, to show up. It's different to playing a live show if you're an acoustic musician and you're used to playing a gig where you play and people listen and there's a big separation. This is really much more interactive. The, the, the whole objective of this is to connect with people and have a, have a journey with them. So really one of the, the big hurdles to overcome initially especially is that sometimes you'll go live and there won't be anyone there. There'll be like one person or no people. What do you do then? Do you just turn it off? No, just like generate your own energy. So start talking being like hey if you're watching this as a replay then thanks for being here and this is the first song I'm gonna play have a little set list ready for yourself and just really treat it 
as if there is someone listening because there will at some point be someone listening and people will come. And so just generating and getting over that initial hump of like no one's there. And then the key is to be consistent. You don't have to have a regular like every week or every day I'm going live at this time, although that does help the audience. I'm not good at that. I go live when as often as I can basically. And through doing that, you'll start to see there'll be a group of people and who will dig what you're doing and they want to come back and just keep shouting out about your tip jar, shouting out, take song requests, have experiments, play you can pause in the middle of a song and, and say a thought that came into your head really just start experimenting with a different way of engaging with people through these platforms and really like it is that simple smartphone tip jar and away you go if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comments i mean i personally use an iphone uh, i do need an upgrade it's getting a little slow but uh, an iphone is just fine just as it is if you do want to upgrade uh, you could do something like this little guy, which is the the Rode VideoMic ME. Um, I'm personally madly in love with everything Rode. I also endorse them and I'm endorsed by them, so just so you know. But I, I've been using their gear for a long time and, and I really, really love. So this little guy plugs into an iPhone, and then you have a little microphone and you've just upgraded your sound massively. But that's something you could only look at down the road. You really don't need this kind of stuff to get started. Um, very simple. Also, another little a little tip for you. Clearly, I've planned this all out very well and structured. It is is lighting. People forget lighting is important. So if you can, like here, I've actually got a few little desk lamps set up with white bulbs in them, like daylight bulbs, and some little, you can see fairy lights and things behind me. But really, if you have natural light coming from a window source that's not direct sunlight, that will often be enough to just light up your eyes, light up your face, and uh, and give people just a little more sense of who you are and, and what's... You know the connection of the life in your eyes basically which which i always think is lovely and it, it's just a little easy thing to do and it makes a really big difference um yeah like i said any questions please feel free to ask get your smartphone get a, a tip jar i personally use give wp but you can use buy me a coffee or you can use paypal.me although i've told you some of the limitations there just get started just start sharing your music with your people on the internet do it consistently, stay strong, stay stay motivated. Like, I believe in you, I think you can do this. And, and I, I look forward to seeing what you're up to. Feel free to share what you're doing in the comments with all of us so people can support as well. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you next time. I feel like I had one more thing I wanted to say and I've completely forgotten it now. So if I remember, I will comment it in the comments. Um, <laughs> thanks everyone. I hope that this has been of value to you and I'm so excited to share it with you. All the best, ciao.